सोना क्यों रब ने बनाया चांदनी रहते चांदनी रहते छुपा है कोई रंज फिजा के चरमन में छुपा है कोई रंज फिजा के My mother was the reason why things started happening in my life. She was the one who used to sing, so she used to go for rehearsals for her shows, and she used to take me along. And she noticed that I started clapping along the rhythm of her songs, and I used to, uh, you know, crawl towards the speakers and keep my ear and try to listen to songs. So she kind of figured that I might be interested in singing. And when I was five years old, she enrolled me into uh, Carnatic classical music classes. and uh, that's how it it all began it all began like i started with uh, class training in classical music and i did that for 6 years it was informal training and post that i did like 7 years training in uh, hindustani music so all this while my studies were on so i always try to maintain a balance and i think my mom has played a very big role in this to teach me how to you know balance my studies and uh, singing and um, after that i also Finished my um, engineering, my computer engineering. So at many points, I did feel like you no, know, okay, um, like I had these opportunities to participate in reality shows and give up my studies midway and get into it. But then uh, I had decided that like I would finish my graduation and then I would get into singing full fledged. Rather, like during my engineering days, I felt more and more that you know this is not what I want to do. I I actually want to get into singing and. I hadn't stopped singing throughout my life. It was on, and apart from my training, I also done a lot of stage shows. I used to do like the orchestras. What they say is to keep going and singing. My mom used to take me everywhere, so I was always in touch with performance, with music, and um, you know, it was something which I never stopped. Even during my board exams, even during like, any crucial things that happened in my studies, but music was always on. So um, towards the final year of my engineering, I felt like you know I need to really decide now what I need to do, and it was definitely not like placements were were not my it was not it was not something I wanted to go for like it wasn't my calling. So finally, I decided I should take this up full fledged. The foundation that has been set, my mother was the one who was really you know behind me to do things, in taking me for shows and seeing to that I go for my classes and everything. So I think. Though it looks like it started just a couple of years back, I can say it has it has started by you know long back when I was a kid when I was five.
I think meeting Rahman sir really changed a lot for me. It really helped me redefine my entire journey meeting him because working with him was very challenging and you know he really made me push my limits and you know I had to come out of my comfort zone to kind of deliver what he exactly wanted. And that's when I realized there's so much more that I need to you know work on apart from whatever was there. Like of course there are strengths, but you know even if I have to address my weaknesses, I think I learned that at his studio. And um, in spite of knowing that I have a long way to go, I think that's what really boosted my confidence. Working with Rahman sir, it, it gave me it gave me credibility. Uh, like you know, there were music directors who were willing to listen to me because they knew okay, the singer has worked with Rahman sir. And and that's the case with any singer who works with him that you know they they earn credibility. People believe in their talent and people are willing to call them and you know try out their work. So that's something which really boosted my confidence. Once I started doing things on my own, I just realized that um, it is not, you know, there's so much talent out there. There are so many beautiful singers out there and making your mark is not very easy. So you have to consistently keep working at it. So I think the biggest hurdle that I faced was coming up with a team to do these things. Like YouTube or anything, if you want to do anything on your own, you need a team. You need a team for your audio. You need a team to sort out your videos. So, fortunately, with like after like within a couple of years, I met people with uh, you know a similar wavelength who thought like me when it came to art, when it came to music, when it came to visuals. So I now currently I have a team that helps me with everything when it comes to my videos, when it comes to my um, audio and you know they're just amazing they brilliantly do their job but also management is an aspect which is very difficult for any artist because you know it's it's very difficult even if you have a product ready putting it out is a challenge like you wouldn't know how to reach your audience even if you have a very good product ready. and that's when the management comes into the picture and Ben Thomas my manager from KNC uh, he's also been like very supportive and you know, he's always guided me I have like trained for many years. My mother enrolled me into music classes, and I must say it uh, it is very important. If you want to take this up seriously, it is important that you train. Of course, there are untrained singers who sing really well, but knowing your vocal cords, knowing the technique, knowing how to breathe while singing, knowing how to project your voice, knowing these things really help you in the long run because you don't land up damaging your vocal cords. You sing the right way. I don't think any artist at any point of time feels that I'm the one because every artist is dealing with insecurities because it's, you know, when it comes to creativity, when it comes to putting out content, you're constantly thinking, if is, is this good enough? Is this, is this the thing that I should be, you know, creating or is this the one? Is this the product that will help me go ahead? I believe there's always, there is some amount of insecurity when it comes to your art, but that helps you and that, that can also you know, help you go ahead and it helps you push through your comfort zone. Definitely yes. I think in our culture, like as um, in India, I think there is a lot of emphasis on education which is good but there has to be focus on extracurricular activities as well because it is stressful when you only do one particular thing and you're not thinking about anything else. You're only thinking about you know scoring 90% in your board exams and you don't do anything else. I think music really helps you beat your stress levels and um, there are in fact scientific studies you know, where they use music therapy to heal patients. I think it is very important for uh, music to be a part of, um, of, of your curriculum if you are a student and it really helps you in the long run because you can, even if you are working or if you have a job, you can always, you know, as a hobby, you can always do this and feel good and enjoy yourself. So I'd like to thank all my viewers and all my supporters. Um, when I started off, I really didn't know where this was heading. But as I see, you know, when I put out my work, when I see so much love and so much appreciation, it just helps me, you know, um, 
work harder towards my goal. It really, I feel blessed to have uh, to see so much love and to see people appreciating my work and to see so many messages that say like, you know, we like your work a lot. So all I'd like to say is keep supporting, keep loving, so that I can keep giving you good music. Cheers.